You ever notice how the loudest people in the room are often the ones with the most to hide? Called it projection. It means you don't deal with your undesirable feelings. You assign them to other people. Like a vegan at a barbecue pit lecturing everyone on animal rights. <laughs> Only later, after you catch him hiding in his car, getting it over the double beef and bacon cheeseburger, he tells you it's all a misunderstanding. He probably thought it was a plant-based burger that got lost on its way to Flavor Town. But it reminds me of some of our most famous public figures. You know, the ones who stand on the biggest stages, waving their fingers at the world, saying, don't be doing that. Meanwhile, they do it exactly that, but in secret. Like they're playing hide and seek with their own consciences. Spoiler alert, their consciousness is a loser. Like that conservative member of Congress or that televangelist who are all about traditional family values. They're out there fighting a good fight against the evils of homosexuality. On Fox News, pasty white faces screaming at the camera, marriage is between a man and a woman. And you're sitting there thinking, man, the only time you're hot for a woman is when you're taking away her rights to have an abortion. <laughs> Our hero gets caught in an airport bathroom playing footsie with an undercover cop. And I'm left wondering if he was that flexible with his stance, what other positions is he flexible with? For people like him, the Bible isn't a holy book, it's a shield. Thou shalt not lie unless thou art in a tight spot. Thou shalt not commit adultery unless thou got a hard on it. So next time you see one of these guys getting caught with their pants down, remember, it's not the scandal we should focus on. It's the tragedy of needing to live a lie. And maybe maybe if we stop giving them a reason to hide, we'll all get a little closer to that traditional value called honesty. Also to say, now you know why I can't stop talking about trans people.